Hey, this is Jason Goodwin with Your Creative Destiny. Today, I wanna show you a quick trick to make your game look amazing. amazing. So we already have this wonderful scenery. What we're gonna do is go to our window and open a package manager. And then you can search the asset store and find something like the fantasy, where is it, skybox pack. You can find this on the asset store. So these sky boxes that replace the sky are essentially a cube map. It's six textures like a cube that's kind of spherized around the world. It gives you a sky look and it looks awesome. So let's do that. So you'll click download and then you'll click import after that. You'll see here, here's the window for the check boxes. You'll say yes, go ahead and import that in. And then once you've imported that in, we can look in our project for that, created a folder. We go into our cube maps and we'll just look at classic. We've got all these classic skies here. And so the first one, this material is our actual sky box. The PNG beside that is the cube map that they use to make and assign to that material. Now, to actually apply the sky box to our sky, super simple. So what we're gonna do is go up again to window and rendering, and then we're gonna pull up our lighting tab. In this case, it'll be a free ooh, window here. My mouse is kind of wigging out a little bit. And I'll just put that next to the inspector. And we're gonna go to environment. And then here you'll see the skybox default material. So here we can just grab our new classic sky, this FS00. We're gonna drag that in. Boom. Amazing sky. I love it. Yes. Then we have, let's let's take that one step up. So you may have came here just for the sky box, but what we can do is just add a quick fog just by for first check the box. Check the box, boom. We add in some fog. Now, here's the kicker. Two things we gotta change, the color. Super simple trick. First, this color, we want it to match our sky, but we're kinda looking more down to the horizon line because we want the fog around our trees and stuff to kinda blend with that. So what we'll do is grab this color picker and then come out here to this bluish area around the trees here and grab that. And you'll notice we don't really see anything or maybe it'll be way too much like this. So this density number is gonna control that. You cover your mouse over it. Controls the density of the fog effect in the scene when using exponential or exponential squared modes. So you'll have to change your mode from linear, I think is the default, and we'll change that to exponential squared. And then here, the density, we can crank this down a little bit and you can see, yeah, that's a little bit, there we go. Yeah, just adding a five on there. So that way we get a little bit more blue fading with everything and that just looks great. Simulates real life to some degree. We've got this kind of fog where things are starting to kind of blend in as the further they get back. And that's how you create a skybox, add a little fog, and make your 3D game look even better as you're starting out. So I hope this helps you on your game, and we'll see you in the next video.